So the number one challenge initially is mindset. It's it's a real challenge for a lot of business owners because we're going from employee and consumer mindset, having to transition into employer and um, I would say business owner mindset. Now, we talk about the three levels of uh, being dependent on your boss and a job and being independent. And that mindset, it requires a lot of trial and error. We make a lot of mistakes. Right. But at some point, we're going to evolve up to the next level we call interdependence. And I know you're aware of this, but that's when we lean on other people. And that's what you're talking about, coaches or marketing experts or or professionals that can we can hire out instead of trying to figure this out for ourselves and really become that much more powerful through what in the business world they call synergy. Right. One plus one equals not two, but three or four or more. Right. So that's what it's all about is, is taking it to that next level. But those initial stages are a real lesson and a lot of mistakes are generally made a lot of times unnecessarily. Yeah. Well, Pete, I love what you're talking about there. Cause I think sometimes we're trying to fix something um, with, you know, we're trying to fix the symptom and not the actual yes. like, underlying illness. Right. And that's where Love I that. think a lot um, of business owners just in general, you know, and, at least in the marketing world, right? We always call it shiny object syndrome, right? And I think yep. that goes for any entrepreneur. We're always chasing that kind of next shiny thing, you know, number one, because I think we're innovative, right? But I think the other component there is, is that, you know, we're, we're just, we're looking to solve problems. We're looking to solve them as quickly as possible. So I think it's done out of, um, you know, from a good place, but I think it can often, often lead to, you know, chasing down a lot of different things. And uh, I think it's cool. I didn't even realize, you know, your new slogan, more customers, better customers, uh, mine for years and kind of in the process of rebranding and changing was more reviews, more customers. So it's kind of, you know, that idea, like you're saying, is like the importance of that third party validation. And, you know, it's, it's great that you think well of yourself and it's great that maybe your customers think that, but unless it's out there, right. And it's working for you, then it's not necessarily going to um, generate any traction uh, from that standpoint of kind of moving in that realm. So, 